and she was like, I missed. Was like, I was supposed to come up and we was like, right here. And I came up. And she right was here. like, and he was like, and we was like, All right, hello, and welcome to another episode of Just Ask Joey. I'm your host, Joey. This is the only place on the internet where you can ask a former idiot questions to help you get through or get over or get around or get under your idiocy. Today's question has to do with ADHD, something that I am very familiar with and love discussing because I think there's a lot of misunderstandings about it. So to be honest with you, the question actually was, what are some natural remedies for ADHD? This is somebody that is taking Ritalin, but is looking to get off of it because of the effects on your liver and and, and uh, just other side effects from having to take pills as opposed to doing something naturally. So me getting into the whole vlogging thing, I've been obviously watching a bunch of Casey Neistat videos because, you know, really who does it better than Casey Neistat? So I thought, Huh. I'm watching a bunch of Casey Neistat videos. He's always talking about having to go for a run. There's no excuse for running. And I know from my experience that running and ADHD are great partners. I've also read a fantastic article called Writing is My Ritalin. So I thought maybe I'll take this opportunity to talk about Casey Neistat in my videos, which will maybe get a few more views, get get the whole just ask Joey question, you know, question and answer vlog out there. So I'm going to kind of use, I'm going to kind of hoe myself. I'm going to use Casey Neistat's name, but it is for a good cause. Does that make it better? So um, the original question is how do I, um, how do I treat ADHD naturally? But I'm going to change the question to why does Casey Neistat run? And, you know, since we're going to talk about Casey Neistat in this video, I might as well do the video a little more like Casey Neistat. So I'm going to start over right now. Okay, I think the first thing we need to do is explain exactly what ADHD is, all right? So, this is your brain. Bear with me, all right? I'm not, I'm not an artist. I'm not a drawer, okay? So this is your brain. This is your frontal lobe, all right? Basically, what ADHD is, and this is the most basic way I can put it, is ADHD does not send signals from the back part, basically from the back part to the front part. That's it. So, why would that be important? The front part controls some pretty, some pretty vital things, like emotional expression, Problem solving, memory, language, judgment, and the big one, sexual behavior. If you don't think these things are important, then this doesn't really matter, does it? But I think it's pretty important. So your brain's basically not, everything's not everything's connecting, okay? Everything's not going where it's supposed to go. It's like if you took the front part of your brain and just took it out, like a lobotomy. That's not very pleasant, is it? Well, that's kind of like what it's like having ADHD. There's a misunderstanding about it being attention deficit. Like you can't pay attention to anything. Parents or teachers and stuff go, oh, well they can pay attention to video games for a long time. Why can't they pay attention to this? They're just being a kid. That's not the case. What it is, basically you have problems doing things you don't like doing. Mundane tasks, which is not totally different from every kid, but 
What it really is, you can't pay attention to it. It's not like you just, oh, this is boring, I don't really like it. This is like, I, I can't pay attention to this at all. I don't even know what, I, I, I can't do it. But if it's exciting or if it's interesting, you can pay attention to it. Or if you can figure out a way to link all those neurotransmitters together, get them all clicking, so the front part of the brain and the back part of the brain are working together, then you have something. You want to be able to control emotional expression, problem solving, memory, language, judgment, sexual behavior, because you want to control these things, you have a choice to make. Now this is the choice that I make, and this is a choice that Casey Neistat makes. So why does Casey Neistat run? Because he wants to control all of these things. And guess what? When you can't control all of these things, it doesn't feel very good. It feels like things are out of control. It feels like you get caught up in things and you get taken off this way and taken off that way. You have all those neurotransmitters linking, this is what you can do. Running, the hell does this have to do with running? Well, it just so happens that things like running, things like cycling, and things like swimming actually will release norepinephrine and dopamine. Did norepinephrine and dopamine do? Well, norepinephrine and dopamine are neurotransmitters. What are you lacking in ADHD? What is keeping the back part and the front part of your brain from connecting? Neurotransmitters. Boom, right there. So what? We got pills for this. Why do you have to work out? Why do you have to do this? Well, it just so happens that Adderall and Ritalin, they release this. So you can either run, cycle, swim, you can either be like Casey Neistat, or you can be like the millions and millions and millions of people that take Adderall and Ritalin to produce this. When I was growing up, I loved running. I didn't know why. Maybe it was because it's being outside and getting the fresh air, getting up early and doing something so you feel like you have a sense of accomplishment throughout the day. There's probably part of that too. But what it really was doing was doing this. It was releasing this into my system so my brain worked better. So not only did I feel better physically, but I felt better mentally. My brain worked. And I think if you look around at big time people, big time athletes, big time uh, entrepreneurs, chefs, everything, you think about these guys that do all these crazy things and, and they, they seem superhuman or they seem maybe a little bit more human than you are. I think all these guys really have ADHD, but they've controlled it. And once you control something like ADHD where your brain's firing all the time because it can't, it has no direction because you're not having these links, and then you link it up because you go running like Casey Neistat every day who doesn't pass it up, who doesn't miss the opportunity to do it. Why? Because he wants to control all of these things. He wants to control these things. All these things make him feel good. And it's because of running. Because running releases norepinephrine and the dopamine into your system. The neurotransmitters you need to connect your brain. The people that I follow, and I don't know if you follow them, but people that I follow, guys like Tim Ferriss, Gary Vaynerchuk, Chase Jarvis, Casey Neistat. Look at them. Look how creative they are. Look how all over the place they are. But they're not really all over the place. They're controlling their ADHD. They're all, guess what? They're all in shape. They all work out. They all eat healthy. Why do they do those things? Because they want their brain to work as good as possible. They want it to be as strong as possible. And part of that, especially having ADHD, is running or cycling or swimming. And just for another thing, ADHD is not a kid thing. You don't grow out of it. You either learn to deal with it or it learns to deal with you. If you are suffering from ADHD, or you or your kid, or a friend, or somebody suffering from ADHD, go for a run. See if it works. Try it without the pills. Try to do it naturally. Do it like I do it. Do it like Casey Neistat does it. Ryan Holiday does it. Do it like James Altucher does it. Gary V does it. Gary Vaynerchuk. And I know what you're gonna say, Gary V just started working out recently, but his work day's so crazy, it's kinda like running a marathon every day anyways, so we're not really gonna count that. Just a little plug for Casey Neistat. Uh, he's pushing his app. It's called Beam. If you haven't signed up for it, check it out. It's a very cool thing. Casey Neistat, Beam, new app. Check it out.
As always, if you have any questions, you can find me on Snapchat, you can find me on Twitter. Most of the comments are coming in through, through Snapchat, which is cool. It's very easy to just slide back and, and answer your questions and stuff. And if you have anything that I can help you with, any clarity, any questions of your own, please find me because I'm here to help. Have a good day. And she was like, mm -hmm. and he was like, nah. and we was like, what? Go, go, go.